So these are my uh, two dado cutters uh, made by Felder. Um, and let me zoom in here a little bit. Um, this is the uh, this is the one that produces the pr produces the narrowest um, width cut. And if you look closely at the blade here, it says it'll go from 6.3 to 12 millimeters. Now I've done a test, and if there's no spacers between the two halves of the cutter here. No spacers in there. It actually cuts 6.25 millimeters thick groove. So I, I can use that to figure out what the thickness of the shim set has to be to get to any target dimension up to 12 millimeters, between 6.25 and 12. Similarly, uh, the large cutter here um, says it's uh, it goes from 12 to 20 so this is the diameter, uh, cutting diameter, cutting circle that uh, goes from 12 to 20. It's got a 30 millimeter arbor. That's what that string of digits means. Um, in in actuality, when when only the two blades are put together with no spacers between it, it cuts 12.33 millimeters. So I've I've marked that uh, base uh, width without shims. On all my cutters by doing test cuts. I'll show you how to do a test cut here in a minute. This is another uh, Felder uh, Groover for the Shaper, uh, another two-piece, and this one says it goes from four millimeters to seven and a half, uh, depending upon what spacers you put between. In actuality, the minimum it does is 3.9 without any spacers in it. So as you can see, I've got all my cutters marked that way. So let's figure out a shim set for the larger dado cutter here uh, to cut a 15 millimeter wide dado or groove. So we know that without any shims, it cuts 12.33 and we're going for 15. So we'll take our 15 and subtract our 12.3. I'm rounding here a little bit. And we get to 2.7. So that's the thickness of the shim set that we need. Um, so here's a, there's a two millimeter thick shim. There's a, that's probably 50 millimeters. It reads 4.48 and this one should be 0.2 millimeters. So together they should be pretty close to 2.7, 2.71. So if we put this shim pack between the, the two halves of the dado cutter, uh, we'll get a 15 millimeter width uh, dado. Anyway, that's how I go about doing all this. Uh, it, it really simplifies things if you know what the base diameter is or base thickness is of the cutter set without any shims involved, then it's just uh, simple math. So let me show you a quick method to determine precisely the thickness of the groove uh, that's produced by either any of these uh, two-piece sets when there are no um, shims or spacers put between the two cutters. So if you've got a two-piece groover or dado cutter um, and you want to get it to a specific width of cut, um, what I do is I take the base blade without any shims or spacers in it uh, and I mount that on the machine, which you, you, you'll you see me do here in a minute. Um, and then I got a scrap of material uh, and a, some dial calipers here. We're going to measure this. Ultimately, we're going to cut this material in half with the, gro with the groover or dado cutter and determine um, the, the width of the base blade uh, cut uh, without any shims in it. Um, based on how the length of this material changes after a cut. So I'm getting 255.82 millimeters here. Um, I'm just going to zero that out and make that the origin um, so that when we cut this in half and put them back together and measure the length, we'll know then um, what the width of the groove is that the dado cutter is making 
before you add any shims to it. That makes calculating the shim package to go between the two cutters a uh, really simple matter of a, a, um, a little bit of math. So let me cut this in half and uh, then we'll come back and measure it and we'll know precisely what the base blade width is before any shims or spacers are added to it. Okay, so I've got my uh, dado cutter installed and I've raised it to just cut through the thickness of this material. This is about 12 millimeters, half an inch, something like that. Uh, so let's get this clamped down and run a cut here. Okay, so here are the, the two pieces of that first piece of material that we measured. We'll just put those together and then we'll take the same calipers and that's been zeroed out at the length of the material originally and we'll measure this now. And we got 12.33. Uh, we know here now that the two pieces of the dado cutter when sandwiched together without any spacers between it cuts a groove of 12.33 uh, millimeters wide. And we can use that uh, to determine uh, how, how many shims and thickness of the shims are required to get to our desired thickness. And I know somebody's gonna ask, what, what, what is that board that you've got your dado cutters on? Uh, that's how I store them. Um, this, of course, is my cup of 400. Anyway, uh, there's this blade storage bin here. Uh, and I, I didn't order it with a blade storage bin, but I found that it was already hinged like this. If you could find the two bolts to take out, the, the thing is hinged with a magnetic latch. So I just made a board that I could uh, store in here that has uh, my dado cutters on it and all the shims. I've also got a spare uh, scoring blade here, so I can just lift this out and I've got everything I need to get my dado set up right there in one little package and then it's stored away uh, when I'm not using it uh, but it's really convenient.